You know, wasted energy means high utility bills, especially in the summer. What is the best way to tackle this problem? Well, you certainly get the, uh, your energy bills certainly get your attention in the summer because when it gets as hot as it is now, you know, the cooling bills really add up. And the single most important way, or effective way, I should say, to cut those is by improving your insulation. Now, technology has changed in insulation, and we may be accustomed to bad insulation, but spray foam insulation is really uh, the best way to go. And isonine is the leader in that category. Let me show you how this works. Basically, spray foam is sprayed when the cavity is open. And so when you're building a house, you fill up the area between the two by fours. If you're in an existing house, you can spray this in an open attic. And it expands 100 times to seal those cavities and insulate. So that stops air leakage, that keeps out the allergens, it reduces noise and that sort of thing. And it's going to cut those cooling bills and cut those heating bills by about 50%. Now I've got a demo here to kind of display or show for you how this works. What we have is some light bulbs, some heat lamps that are pushing warm up wear up through three different types of insulation. We have cellulose insulation, then we have isonine, then we have fiberglass. And what you're seeing is that the air blows right through the cellulose, so that means that all of those drafts are going to go right through to the house. You have air that goes right through the fiberglass, but the isonine, no air is getting through. It's completely sealed. And so if you can imagine taking a look at the temperature difference here between fiberglass and cellulose, we're talking about 7 degrees, and that's just with the heat from the light bulbs. Imagine if your attic is 90 degrees or 100 degrees. This really adds up to hundreds of dollars in energy savings every single year. And smart homes are a hot topic now. Is it possible to add some of these features to existing homes without spending a lot? Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the smart home technologies that we're going to see, I think, stock in homes moving forward in the future is an electric vehicle charger. Because so many of us are buying electric cars today, they're very efficient, they're four times more efficient than gas cars. And this is an electric vehicle charger called EV Link and it's from Snyder Electric. And this is better than the one that comes with the car because that's a trickle charger. This is a level two charger. It will handle vehicles that are 16 amps to 30 amps. And this can charge your car in about four hours. So the typical trickle chargers are 16 hours, 14 hours, way too long. You know, I like to think of this as charging your car at about the same time it takes to charge your cell phone. Plus, it's small, it's attractive, it's convenient. This surface, the skin, is completely customizable. They have 600 different designs or you can add a photograph to it as well. So this is a great technology that you're going to see, I think, stock uh, going forward into the future, but you can actually bring it into your home right now with the investment of an electric vehicle car, an electric car and a vehicle charger. Another technology that uh, is available today are motion-activated switches. This is from Lutron. It's the Maestro Occupancy Sensing Switch. Now, this is terrific if you've got kids uh, that always leave lights on like mine do. I have three teenagers. Well, with this tough of technology, when they leave the room, the lights automatically, boom, go off behind them. So if there's no motion, there's no lights. You can also set it in occupancy mode so that when you walk into a room like a laundry room with your hands full, the lights come on. So it's a very safe device. It's a very energy efficient device. Installs in about 15 minutes. Lutron even has a toll-free number where they'll walk you through the installation. And the cost, it's about 20 bucks. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Uh, when you talk smart homes, to look at smart switches, look at vehicle chargers. And also, let's talk about the kitchen. You can be smart there, too. Uh, this is a motion-activated faucet. This is from Moen. It's called the Brantford Pull-Down motion act, uh, pull down faucet uh, with motion sense, which is a, a Moen technology. And here's how it works. You move a cup under it, water comes on. It's full, pull it away, water goes off. You can't leave the water on. Just push it in, it comes on, pull it out, it goes off. Now, there's another thing here that makes this a safer faucet to use. Let's say you're cooking, right? And what are you doing? You cut up a chicken and you're getting all that bacteria on your hands and you go over and you reach for the faucet. Well, you transfer that bacteria to the faucet when that happens. What this has is a wave sensor. So you wave over the top, the water comes on, your pot fills with water, you're done, you wave again, the water goes off. So it's a healthier faucet to use as well. It's also beautiful. It comes in three different finishes. There's an oil rubbed bronze, there's a chrome, and there's a spot resistant, sort of fingerprint resistant stainless that's absolutely beautiful. So you got a good looking faucet that's safer and it's going to save you water at the same time. Absolutely. 
And there are lots of tax credits and energy subsidies for green improvements out there. Is there an, in an easy way to find out what is available in our area? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if it's a product like isonine, for example, um, there's local credits, there's regional credits. You know, some of them are come from utility companies, some come from the government. They have a website at isonine.com where you can put in your zip code and find those tax credits that are available in your area. And then really nationally for all sorts of other credits, just go to energystar.gov. Now that's the website for uh, the Energy Star program run by the Department of Energy. Search tax credits there and they have a locator that will help you find out what's available for all sorts of products, heating products, cooling products, dishwashers and so on uh, in your local area. Well, thank you so much, Tom. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, just take a look at our website, moneypit.com. We've got reviews on all these products we talked about today and then lots of other sources for home improvement information. Well, thank you as always, Tom. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Candace. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.